Okay, so coming back to some of these job postings, uh, I'll go through these job postings to sort of go through what my thought process is like. So first step is looking at the title, uh, knowing a little bit about the company and what the location is. So for example, maybe there's a, a location that you don't want, then maybe you screen that out. Uh, but this is in Vancouver. I know that Dino Nobel is a, a, a blasting company. So they produce the explosives for, for the mining industry. Um, so you definitely want to read more about that if you don't know what they do. Um, but, but we want to know specifically uh, as a mining engineering intern, uh, am I designing blast patterns or I'm working with specifically the products? So looking through here, uh, you will use advanced blasting instrumentation and software to deliver cost saving solutions to customers. All right, so it looks like just some briefly scanning. Um, looks like you will be quite involved in the blasting process, just supporting the blasting crew with identifying ways to optimize um, the blasting procedures. It looks like you'll be doing some uh, some product management. So perhaps identifying ways that the business could improve the products. So, okay, so now I have a good idea of uh, what they're looking for in terms of uh, what what you'll be expected to do. So if you have any courses in, in drill and blast, you will definitely want to highlight that. Uh, any work experience for sure, you, you want to um, highlight that because it ties in with this job description. So for example, you if you are involved in drill and blast in a previous co-op work term, um, or maybe even if you're in the civil industry, for example, then definitely highlight those skills and relate it back to the job description. So what they're looking for is someone in mining, um, geotech, mineral or geological engineering. Um, an ATF background check, I'm not sure what that is, but uh, you need to go through some background checks. You're looking for someone with analytical and problem solving abilities, ability to effectively prioritize and execute tasks in a high pressure customer environment. Um, okay, so some very good information here. So these are skills that you definitely want to highlight in your cover letter because um, these are things that they're looking for. So if any, for example, projects, um, previous work experience that display these uh, capabilities, you definitely want to show and highlight these as well, and as well bring it up in your interview. Positive, attitude, friendly, demeanor, and a team player. So if you, for example, play any team sports, that'll be something good to bring up. Um, some additional information, uh, they focus on safety, they're very proud of their standing as an industrial explosive producer and they have cutting edge technology. So if any of these things um, resonate with you, you want to explain why in your cover letter as well. Um, some additional things. These are all pretty typical for most co-op positions. Um, for us to pay, they tell you ahead of time, which is nice. So go through another one. Um, this one is in none of it. So for example, this might be a little bit colder. So if you don't think you can handle the cold, then uh, this might be one that you want to screen out. So this one, this job posting is not as detailed. Um, sometimes they would ask you for a valid driver's license. So it's actually quite common within um, mining engineering internship positions. Ideally, they would want someone that has a full driver license. So if you have that, make sure you call that out. 
uh, and because Canada, some provinces in Canada do speak French, sometimes they would uh, require you to speak French. So you just want to make sure you look out for those things. Uh, the shift schedule, 14 days of 12-hour shift, um, followed by 14 days off, um, and they tell you where you'll be flying in from. Uh, travel room and board provided by the company. So those are things that you want to look for just because uh, different companies who have different shifts, um, you want to know where you're flying in and out of, um, and just understand if your personal life can handle that. Uh, this is a position with uh, Rio Tinto, mine, pla mine planning co-op position. Uh, this one is a four month position with a possibility to extend to eight. Okay. Uh, sometimes they would ask for you to have at least um, one year of experience. I, I don't think so, that's always a, um, a hard and fast rule. So with things like the number of experience, number of years of experience desired, sometimes if you fall below that, I would still recommend you apply for those positions. Sometimes these things are just nice to have, not uh, must-haves. Uh, and then you'll be, of course, want to make sure you understand what the job description is. This one is a, a metallurgy and mineral processing position in Toronto. Uh, with things like positions that show up in big cities like Vancouver, Toronto, you want to make sure if these are maybe just fly in, fly out positions, or if you're actually stationed in Vancouver or Toronto. So education, um, second or third year, uh, mineral processing, metallurgy, or chemical engineering program. Yeah, typically you do need to be in second or third year. Uh, very rare would they hire someone with in just first year, but that is always a possibility, but just very unlikely. Um, and so with things like, because Kinross is a global company, if you have the ability to speak any of these additional languages, uh, that's when you, you will call it out in your resume. Uh, and some postings do tell you when they close. But again, I would just recommend that you may, maybe apply at least one day before these deadlines. I have seen postings where they actually close before the stated time. So don't leave it to the last minute is what I would suggest. Uh, oh, this is interesting. This is a special note. So apparently they want you to submit with a name blind resume. Um, so I'm assuming you would actually cross out your name for, for your application. Uh, just so that they don't have any biases involved. So again, yeah, make sure you read through entire job description because sometimes they may give you special instructions for how to apply. So sometimes they may tell you to email it to a specific email. Um, sometimes they may tell you to apply on their website. So just wanted to make sure you're doing using the right method. So those are the typically the things I would look for in a internship job posting. And if you have any questions, you should definitely write them down. Um, and you could either ask the hiring manager if you happen to know who that is or save it as a question at the interview process.